Well, stand by. It could be another gripping night in South East London. Commentators Andy Hinchcliffe and Rob Hawthorne. Well, there's only one change to each team from Saturday's first leg. Danny Schofield, who spent nine years with Huddersfield after coming out of non-league football, returns after injury to face his old club. Neil Harris retains his place in the team, even though Sean Batt is back in the squad. While in central midfield, Najib Abdu scored the decisive goal that earned a place in last year's final for Millwall, where they lost to a Scunthorpe team, including Liam Trotter, who was on loan there at the time. Huddersfield's change is enforced after Tom Clark's knee injury. Lee Peltier switches to his natural position on the right. And Robbie Williams, who scored in Blackpool's playoff final win of three years ago, comes in at left back. Danny Drinkwater has recovered from the cramp that brought his premature exit in the first leg. And Lee Novak is still preferred to Theo Robinson. He got the ball in the net at the weekend, but from an offside position. Sean Batt, who's on loan from Peterborough, is one of three striking options on the Millwall bench. A positive look to the Huddersfield bench too, with Theo Robinson, Robbie Simpson and Nathan Eccleston, who's on loan from Liverpool. And don't forget, the Liverpool loanee had the final say for Swindon last night. So how will this young Huddersfield team cope with being in the lion's den? At 28, their captain, Peter Clark, is the senior member of the side, the one who can perhaps expect the most stick after being involved in the penalty controversies at the weekend. But with a team of seven players aged 23 and under, the roar of the lion's den will be an intimidating experience for Huddersfield. Will the young side from Yorkshire come? The battle is on for a place in the Wembley final. It's Millwall against Huddersfield next. Sponsored by Bet365. Apologies for any strong language you may have picked up in the tunnel before the break. The players are highly charged. The Coca-Cola League One playoff semi-final second leg. Millwall against Huddersfield. Live from the den on Sky Sports HD1 and Sky Sports 1. It's nil-nil from the first leg. Commentators Andy Hinchcliffe and Rob Hawthorne. And a different man in the middle from the first leg. Tony Bates in charge tonight after Darren Dedman overlooked the penalty appeals at the weekend. Get behind you and into the net. Schofield, Jack Smith, the short, the trotter and drink water nipped in. It's Craig. Harris looking for the free kick, but it's fallen here for Schofield to pull it across. Morrison, one nil Millwall. And the man who has a special relationship with Wembley, where he's twice scored in wins for Stevenage, may well have Millwall heading there. To credit Danny Schofield here as well as the ball's playing forward. Neil Harris goes to ground and everybody else seems to stop. The Huddersfield defence seems to stop, expecting maybe the uh, the free kick to be given. I'm not sure about the goalkeeper here, Smithies. It does bubble up a little bit, but it's poor goalkeeping for me. Should really be handling that, not parrying it. And if it falls, what, six, seven yards out, Steve Morris is not going to miss from there. And Millwall, that is a crucial goal in this game. But set the goalkeeper really will not be happy with his contribution. Millwall's top scorer registers for the 23rd time this season. His first goal for the club was against Huddersfield in the 3-1 win here back in September. And now his most crucial goal to date for the club has come against the same opponents. You can see where the problem Huddersfield now they've had a fair bit of the ball but just simply haven't threatened that Millwall goal. Enough, just one attempt on target, that's not enough, and he'd been playing 70 minutes. The attempt they've just had was that one on target, hence the despair of Lee Clark. Smith. Harris. Winning the corner out of Danny Drinkwater. Well, they are almost there. But at 1-0, the lead very precarious, and how they would love the comfort of a second goal. 
I'm sure they all watched the uh, Swindon Charlton game last night. They'll be taking nothing for granted just yet. It's Barron's corner. Robinson! And surely that is it! The captain coming up with a goal that surely now means for the second year running, Millwall will be in the playoff final of Wembley. Oh, you would feel that this has to be the killer blow. It's a decent ball in, but it's an excellent header from Paul Robinson. He climbs so well in between two Huddersfield defenders to power that ball past Alex Smithies in the Huddersfield goal. You'd have to think now that's got to be enough. A two-goal lead with seven or eight minutes left to play. Sean is enough for Millwall. That is a terrific header. Well, you can see the delight all around on the pitch and off it. Millwall, who generally had an abysmal record in the playoffs, last year was the first final they'd ever reached, but they're well on their way to another now, thanks to their captain. Oh, Paul Robinson's been rock solid at the back, he ventures forward, and that second goal could make all the difference to their Wembley hopes. Well, Nathan Clark has come on for Neil Trotman. It looks as though it's all over for Huddersfield.